Sonic Lab TV. Hello, welcome to another Sonic Lab. Uh, we're looking today at a new audio interface from Akai. This is the Akai EIE Pro. Now I know it sounds a little bit like a children's nursery rhyme, but actually it's a high resolution audio interface with built-in USB hub and MIDI. Let's take a look at the hardware. So here it is, it's on the rotating cake stand thing that we like to use for this sort of stuff. It's actually a very solid piece of metal. Uh, chunky, feels weighty and sort of, you know, like it's got quality behind it. Uh, everything seems to be nicely mounted here. Uh, we've got four combi inputs on the front, which take a mic or a line. They're switchable between mic line and guitar, so you can plug a guitar hi z input into here. Uh, we've got phantom power switchable in pairs, uh, which takes me on to the back very quickly because you will need to power it. It's not bus powered. It requires the external power supply, which it comes with. Back to the front. We've got individual gain for each of the channels. And then we've also got monitoring and metering section here. Around the back, we've got USB input. Uh, it's also got a little hub built in, so you can take the USB from your computer and then redistribute it. So if you've got any dongles or maybe hard drives or other items that you might want to put in here, nice little touch. It's also got a built-in MIDI interface, which is cool. Uh, four audio outputs uh, for monitoring uh, or all such like and also four insert points. So you can integrate it with your studio. These are tip ring sleeve uh, stereo configured. So you could put in patch in EQs or compressors or other stuff into the signal path on input only. So coming back to the master section, this is where we get a lot of uh, interesting routing options. We can monitor in mono or stereo. We've got an overall output level. Then we've got a blend between input and output here, which is handy for zero latency monitoring or monitoring via the computer. The headphone select which can be one and two three and four or all then we've got a dedicated headphone level uh, the metering can be switched from one and two three and four on input or on output so I've switched over to my voodoo VR1 uh, ribbon mic uh, from SE electronics which is a lovely open mic it's gonna sound very very different uh, to the video mic which has got processing and the EQ and all sorts of stuff on it so this is what you're listening to now we're listening in stereo so if I now switch to mono it'll come straight down the center which is a handy little tool for uh, recording for zero latency monitoring we're listening to the pure signal now rather than the return and what i've done is i've got a, an eq plug a, a reverb plug in across an armed channel so if i switch now to the uh, computer return we'll be hearing the plug in with the reverb on it so if i blend it that way now we're hearing the return with all the reverb on it so i'm guessing we could use it uh, creatively for adding a little bit of wet if you wanted to in the mix and i've got quite a low latency setup on this computer so back to the vus now if i go into the red you can see that the vu peaks uh, quite considerably and that's a good visual aid to see whether you're going over but what they've done is they've actually made the vu meters on the eie pro be zero is also zero db digital usually you have an extra 18 db of headroom on top of that to handle the transient peaks not so in the ie pro and that got me a little bit because that's not strictly the sort of true pro way of doing it but you can get used to it so just going to record a little bit of audio here i've got an, a track armed i've got some reverb down i'm just gonna do that here Old MacDonald had a farm EIEI Pro, and on that farm he had a 96K capable audio USB interface EIEI Pro. And you can see there in the media bay uh, that it's 96K playback. Old MacDonald had a farm EIEI Pro. Absolutely fine. Um, and incidentally, that's quite a good reverb. That's the uh, Apple AU Matrix reverb for those who are interested. So if I now switch back to my uh, video mic with all its hyped glory, uh, I'm actually quite impressed with the Akai EIE Pro. It's quite hard to say that without thinking of old MacDonald, I must say. Um, the build quality feels pretty good. The mic amp seemed to be able to handle the uh, ribbon mic. Didn't seem to introduce any noise, which considering the mic amps, you know, you've got four of them in here and such a low cost unit, isn't bad going. I mean, it's not gonna sound as good as say the Yamaha uh, O1V96i mic amps, which I think sound, sound particularly good or perhaps some of the higher end Focusrite stuff, but still it ain't bad. So the only thing I don't really like is the metering. Uh, it was a bit shocking when it's red, particularly if you're maybe working yourself and you're monitoring and you're playing away and you just see red flashing in the background, it can be quite off-putting and sort of introduce an element of uh, questioning whether you're getting it right at, during performance. But if you set your levels right, then you should be okay. And the fact that you've got those insert points means you could stick a compressor across it 
on record which would uh, tame them a little bit, which could be quite handy. One thing I did want to try was whether or not it would hook up to an iPad. Unfortunately, it won't. Uh, I did try it, um, even with external power plugged in, it just, uh, the iPad doesn't recognize it in any of the applications I tried, which is a bit of a shame, because it would have been nice to have it as a, as a companion to your iPad for, so, for those recording applications. I did mention price. Uh, it's 200 UK pounds or thereabouts. Other currencies will scroll below. Uh, not bad, actually, when you said you've got a MIDI interface as well. It's not the highest quality sounding one in the world, but actually it's a well-built, solid, does the job.